You always say this when we go to openings and things, so tell me the story about your grandfather. About my grandfather, I know from my father that he told me always stories of my grandfather, that how he had been working in his life, and because I was always curious about that, and I was asking my father that what his work was and how he learned paintings, and then my father told me that he learned painting through his father. And so about my grandfather, I know that uh, he had been a photographer for the king of Udaipur. In, the, in those days, there was a court and he was shooting all those important program, fair, festivals for the royal family. And also those days they had a, a black and white photography work was going on. Nobody has that color process available at that time. And my grandfather was taking photographs by himself. He was printing them in his dark room and then he was hand coloring them also. So that he has been spent all his life in doing photography and then painting and then hand coloring his photos. And so how did you end up taking the hand coloring up again? What's that story? How did you return to it? I got return to it, uh, like I have seen my father doing this hand coloring photos when I was a little kid and those time they were, he was painting those little photographs of the king for the uh, local antique dealers and he was also painting those for the uh, jewelry that they used to put a portrait of a king in a jewelry that was colored by hand and then I met Vasco in 2006. He has uh, done his exhibition at Bagur Kiaveli and I went to see his exhibition and then there I saw his photographs and it was, I was curious about it like uh, it was, he was the first uh, foreigner in town who was doing the exhibition. So I went there to see that and... Was, I was really the first? Yeah. Really? That was the first. I'm the first foreigner in Udaipur who had yeah. an exhibition? Yes. You're kidding me. No, no, you are the, because I look at that uh, sign and I was like, oh. I didn't know that. There were many photographers has been come and gone. Yeah. But you were the one who approached the Bagur Kebeli. You are the first person. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Yes. And okay. then I went over there and I saw the exhibition and then I said, oh, that's cool work. But those photos were in sepia. And after that, I keep meeting Vasco and... I saw that he was involved in doing some miniature works with the local shopkeepers and one day I saw a painting at his home and I knew that it was done by my friend Rakesh and I asked Vasco, do you know Rakesh? And he says no. And then I said to him that this painting is done by Rakesh. You introduced me to Rakesh. Yes. And then As I, I remember, I was walking down near um, Chanpol somewhere, yes. right near where your shop is these days. That time, and you yeah. came up to me on your bike and you yes. said you want to know who is really painting your yeah. miniatures. Well, I wanted to and I said, well, of course I do. And then coming at your home, I saw the black and white photos and I thought, oh, that's, let's do something. So we had a talk and then I had an idea, let's color the photos and then we just give a try to some photos and so now it's more than 10 years of the publication work going on and great thing about this it's like I learned the work in my family but I got more chance to learn more this work in a much better way. So what do you think about Chacha? Chacha has a temper, right? <laughs> Chacha has a temper? Chacha... Tell me, what was the first time I screamed at you? Do you remember the first time I screamed at you? Not really, but I think the first time you scream was like not on me. You were screaming on Ganpat. Oh. Or or Chinu. Uh, Shrinu. 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 Yeah. That was in the days I was yes. at Yes, uh, you were very Chinar angry Villa. and you were throwing the things. And the first day I saw you was like you throw the table. Like it didn't hurt anyone, but I just, threw a table. Yeah, the small. Char, uh, what do you call that? Chowki. Chowki? <laughs> yeah. I threw a chowki? And you were so angry that day, like you were shouting like, everybody want money, nobody want to work. <laughs> I'm not a Lakshmi. <laughs> I did that? <Yeah>. Me? <laughs> and then I said, wow, Chacha is angry. And then I left. But then later, two hours, I got a message mm. from you, like, my gussa is gone. 
everybody can come back. <laughs> yeah, I get angry, but then I sort of apologize rather quickly. Two hours. To, yeah. I was shocked. I was like, like, what the hell? This is like, it should not be like that. I remember you were really concerned the first time. And yeah. then by the second, third, fourth time, you just sort of thought like, Chacha's losing his cool again. Because you, I was don't, you don't take it real seriously anymore. I was, the first time I noticed was that uh, Rakesh came at your home and something happened that maybe you didn't like the painting or you said something and Rakesh ran away, ran away from your home without wearing his shoes. <laughs> That's right. I was shooting at him and he ran out of my house without any shoes on. Yes. So well, then how did he get his shoes back? <laughs> that I don't know, but he ran away from your house. I sort of remember that. I think I called him back and gave he him. He was his scared shoe. of like uh, he was like when I asked him what happened. He says, "A oh, chacha, big man with tattoo, like big." <laughs> you get scared. Yeah, gusa and crazy. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Like sometimes it happens up and down. Yeah, I think I've mellowed with age. I don't get so angry anymore. Yeah. Nowadays you are getting relaxed. Yeah. I don't, but I do have a temper problem. I know that. I but often, yes, it can. It's happened to everyone. Explode. You're very good. You're always very even level. I try to keep my best. Yeah. Cool. I don't want to. I've seen you angry sometimes, but you don't really show it that much. You kind of keep it inside. No, no, it's better. You're generally to, always happy. Better to keep it. What's your philosophy of life? You really believe in happiness. You always be say, happy. be happy. Be happy. That's what I write on my bike. That's what I write on the wall front of my gallery on my business card. Be happy. That's the main thing. So everything is be happy. Yeah, because you are going to sleep. You don't know if you're going to wake up or not. Right. So just enjoy the moment and stay happy. Okay, cool.